Go readings, YouTubers! You have once again reached the Doom Gate. Doom here. Quick unboxing for you. And I believe I know what this is. I ordered this last week. Came in fairly quick. So, let's see if we can get this open here. Got this on eBay. Where America shops. We all know. I'm sure my mailman wasn't too happy about it. Because it is kind of an odd, odd shaped package. And it is exactly what I thought it was. This is my hatchet. So this is a cold steel tomahawk. And this is the pipe hawk, as you can see here. I'll try to get the plastic off of it. Now I watched uh, some other reviews on YouTube from my fellow YouTubers. One of the things I noticed is that almost everyone that got it ended up doing a refinish of uh, the uh, of the head almost as soon as they got it. So. I don't know if that's something I'm going to do. I don't think the finish is all that bad. It is shiny, I will tell you that. I don't know if I care for that so much. Um, edge is... Yeah, it's not really sharp. Uh, you can... Actually, you can feel... You can feel the jagged edges on there. Uh, but, <clears throat> again, from what I understand, it will hold an edge once you give it to it. Uh, again, this is from Cold Steel. Now, they sell a bunch of these tomahawks. This is the pipe hawk. It's supposed to resemble uh, Native Americans would sometimes, uh, they would sometimes hollow out uh, the, um, the handle and make a peace pipe out of it. Uh, and then they would also use it in battle. Uh, but, <clears throat> obviously that does compromise it as a tool. So... The Cold Steel Company just made these as a, uh, as an homage, if you will, big words here on Doomgate, <clears throat> or a, a replica of uh, the pipe, the pipe hawks, pipe tomahawks. This is filled in, so obviously you can't smoke any tobacco in it. But what you can do is pound nails, pound tent spikes, all of that good stuff, which is where you're probably going to be using this. Where I'm going to be using it is for camping, and I think this. It will probably end up going in my bug out bag as well. So, um, nice handle. It's uh, it's a little bit rough. I don't think it's all that bad. Some people said they ended up uh, sanding it down. I may do that. The one thing I will tell you right now that I notice is that can you hear that? The handle jiggles jiggles a lot. So I understand there's a screw in here. I may take that out uh, so I can force this down a bit farther onto the hilt uh, and get a um, little bit of a, a tighter feel to it. But um, again, this is uh, as most of my items that go in in my uh, bug out bag. Uh, there, I try to get as many dual use or multi use items as I can. This is definitely one of those. Um, any degree of cutting that you need, you can do with this. Obviously, the uh, the tent stakes and pounding and nails, if you need to. Uh, you know, the chopping of wood. Obviously, uh, I've even seen. You know, when people when you uh, when you take the when you take the pin out, <clears throat> you can even take this off and use it to shave wood. You can even use it to make a whole new handle for yourself if that's what you need. So it's an incredibly versatile item. Uh, obviously can be used as a weapon if you so desire and if you so need it. And from what I have seen, these throw really well too. Uh, they, uh, they are very well balanced. So uh, again, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to remove the paint on this. I don't think it really looks all that bad. I think maybe people were looking for, maybe if they're looking for a real matte finish to it, <clears throat> I don't know, but uh, I don't think I mind it too much. I might maybe paint over it with a with a matte paint, um, but I don't think it's all that bad. So, but I will uh, 
but I am going to have to sharpen it because it is not <laughs> sharp at all. And I probably will go ahead and make a make a Kydex uh, sheath for this as well because uh, it is going to be hanging on my pack. So, anyways, um, guys, that is just a little uh, unboxing for you. Uh, we'll try to get some videos of this if this ungodly frozen hell of a winter ever leaves us. I promise I will get out and do some shooting videos and we'll do some uh, videos with this axe as well. But right now we're set for even more cold temperatures and more snow to come. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this winter's ever going to end. So, but if it does, stay tuned. There will be some, uh, hopefully some more videos coming up. So anyhow, there you go. That is the Cold Steel Pipe Hawk and um, although it does say American Tomahawk Company, I don't know, but uh, maybe that's just their maybe that's just their name. But uh, anyways, there you go, Cold Steel Tomahawk, Doom out. You've been doomed. <laughs>